project we're doing today is Art for the Hungry, sponsored by Northwest Assistance Ministries, and we do it every year. We build a creative sculpture out of food products. There's a different theme every year, and this year's theme was Washington Monuments. So we brainstormed and tried to find the easiest design, a, a design that weighed the least to transport to the mall. And we had to work with the 1,000 minimum item rule too. So. And what we're recreating, I guess, would be the Ar Arlington National Cemetery and all of the food items that we're creating this structure out of will all be donated to a local food bank for kids in the summertime to eat. It uses construction, which is where you use food to create sculptures, and it's, we're having a ton of fun. Um, a lot of planning went into this. We've been planning for the past couple of weeks with one of our committees, and we're having a ton of fun here tonight. We ended up using, we tried to find stuff that would work for grass, tombstones, and wreaths, because we looked online, and those were the pictures that we found, so we thought, oh, we'll go for this, and um, we went online and find, found different, like, boxes of food that would work really well and so we ended up using crystal light for the white tombstones. We ended up using green lime jello or pistachio jello for the grass and um, lime kool-aid for the wreaths. We do a lot of fundraisers at our school. We're lucky enough that our principal allows us to do a lot of them. Um, we used, we actually did a candy sale at school. Our principal allows us to sell candy around the school. So we actually bought, I think, around 3,000 pieces of candy from Sam's Club and um, we went, our key club members go around the store and sell them and we pretty much used the money from that um, to purchase the items because it was very, I mean, it's pretty expensive. You don't think Jell-O is that expensive until you're trying to buy, you know, 500 boxes of Jell-O. So we did use the money that our club had fundraised for it, yeah. Well, there was a lot of prep work before we got here to the mall tonight. We had to shop for the food. We had to find foods that were the right colors that we wanted. So we made several trips to the grocery stores. Um, we Again, we were trying to find things that were small and lightweight to, so we could hit the 1,000 minimum. And then, then we had to find uh, enough items because we bought just enough for, to build a sample grave and completely wiped out the shelves at one of the local stores. So we had to approach some grocery store managers about ordering in cases. And then Friday night, we had a lock-in at school and as part of the lock-in, besides just playing games and having fun, we uh, met over in a corner and pre-assembled a lot of the food, just to make things go quicker here at the mall. Well, I think that students, they like to use their creativity. Uh, it makes them feel good to build something. Um, they understand that a lot of people are not as uh, blessed as they are, so it makes them feel good that this food is going to the food pantry afterwards. Sculptures will be here for two weeks, and we'll meet back in two weeks on a Sunday night to disassemble it. Northwest Assistance Ministries here in Houston actually comes and we actually do the tear down for them and we load it all back in the truck and that goes to their food bank and most of that food, like I said, is going to go towards kids in the summertime who are low income families and those are the kids who actually rely on their free and reduced lunch at school. So sometimes their only meal during the day actually is their lunch and sometimes even their dinner that they get from the school. And so this, they have to go to the food banks from the summer to get food to feed their families and that's what we try, or that's what the food goes towards. It's a great way to fill the food pantries right before school's out for the summer.